Hello everyone, this is Pi22, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Chronicles of a Dark Lord, episode 1, Tides of Fate Complete. In the last episode, we ended up here at Zenith Kess, and we found that we have to go through the cave to uh, figure out what to do with the Infernal Deedum to put it on its altar, to uh, tr transform us, or to make us hidden, so we can get through the Veldrace. And in between episodes, like I said last time, I went ahead and did a little bit of grinding. I got Magus and Isis up to level 18, and just right here, right now, as you see, Zeria and Sapphire just leveled up. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the battle screen here. Nothing new for Zeria or Sapphire. But I did learn new spells for both Magus and Isis on their levels up. So I'll show you that now. Magus at level 17 learn a sundering soul and it says their dark power pierces the soul of your enemy now that doesn't only really describe what it does what it does is it is an instant KO attack if it works I'm not exactly sure of the hit rate or the hit percentage of how often it actually works but that's what it is that you cast it on a single target enemy and then instantly dies Probably doesn't work on bosses. I have yet to try it. However, I would think logically it doesn't work on bosses. Although you never know. And yeah, it depends what you want to do. If a particular random encounter is troublesome, go ahead and try that skill out. And for Isis, we learned a very handy spell. We learned Rejuvenate. It's, it cures allies of all status ailments. That can be very handy, especially in later fights because some of the bosses tend to stack negative effects on you. And when that happens, you'll be severely crippled. Now, there actually is a certain item, which I will, perhaps it's a small spoiler, but there are items in the game that can prevent all status elements from actually inflicting, being inflicted on you. Essentially like the ribbon. It's called something different, the name escapes me right now, but it's there, it, you don't get it near the end of the game. But I definitely recommend that I actually put that onto Isis, because that way she'll be free to cure everyone else. And as you see here, the game time is about 9 hours 19 minutes, whereas where I last saved it, where I left off the episode, it was 9.09. .09. So only about 10 minutes, really. So that all, honestly, that wasn't all too long. So, at this point, I am back in the castle. I'm going to go ahead and rest up at the end. I'm going to do that right now. 200 steering coin, for sure. I got plenty of steering coin at my disposal at the moment. Yeah, I got almost 25,000 steering coin. So I should be sitting pretty for that right now. Just one final check over of the equipment before I continue into the cave up north. Nope, don't need the flame style for a flurry bow. I'm kind of regretting at this point actually uh, getting rid of the Gale Sword and all those other ones from the ice area earlier. Because I would think that they would be effective here. But that was my own fault and I'll try and remember that for next time. Uh, let's see. I got a couple of mid potions for fighting my random fights there. Ambrosia's not really as important now, because now that we actually have that rejuvenate spell. But speaking of spells, I might get a couple more ethers. There we go. Give myself 30 of those. Five of those. Maybe another five of the shards. Because that way, if I need to, uh, level grind a little bit, I'll be good to go. Yeah. Alright, so let us save the game again outside the castle. Now let's go north. I'm going to show you one, fan, one fight here. Basically, yeah, uh, you can fight these Thelxana, or Thelxana creatures, enemies, demons, whatever they are. And almost like a fireball type enemy as well. Those are who you're going to encounter in this particular area. And as you can kind of figure, the weakness is ice. So, Magus and Sapphire will be doing their main damage. Zero can pitch in with their shockwave still though. That'll help. 
and Mage is going to do his Breath of Ice attack, and that'll do a lot of damage. Just like that. Yep, cave is north up here. There's a Nethy Cave. Let's go ahead and explore it, shall we? Yeah, there's a fireball creature I was talking about, the Flame Wisps. And let's see. Shockwave. Oh, one evaded it. That wasn't nice. Don't worry too much about your MP in this area, because I'm sure by the time you find it, by by the time you find a uh, crystal to actually use your shard at, you should still be fine. So yeah. Besides, at this point, for the most part, to be able to survive the fights, you're going to need to be to end them rather quickly, and the, your skills are the best way to do it versus actually using your weapons. Ooh, there's a noise there. Magus, that was either your stomach growling, or we're going to have a serious problem soon. Definitely not Magus' stomach. Stay sharp, everyone. Yes, and speaking of a save crystal, right here. I'm going to use it, because I believe there's actually a uh, boss, or perhaps a mini-boss, in this area right here. Not in that chest, though, that was an Ambrosia. I believe it's this one here. Be careful, viewers, if you open this chest. Got a Sephiron Orb. What was that? How dare you steal my precious orb! Oh crap. Mother of... Shit! Yeah, I'll say it right there. This may be a bit of a problem. No one steals my precious and lives. You will go no further. Quite a large adversary. It seems you have little choice in the matter, though. Come on, you overgrown turkey! Ah, oh, hell, my day was going so well! Ready over here! Here we go! Against an optional boss, and I don't think you actually have to get this this chest. There's a Nethy Dragon. Let's see how well we do, or how bad we do. Yeah, ice spells work nice here. You gotta defend Isis. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh oh, that might hurt. Ow! Well, I'm going to revive you. And then cure. Now, even though that's a multi-target spell and no one else needs it, this is my strongest cure spell. I don't want him to have a lot of health. Well, he's still taking some damage, so we can do this. That was a bit better. Not dead yet. Now let's see, should I use an item or should I use a spell? That's pretty close, because I'll get used with that I'll cure a thousand if because Isis is using it. Or I could use these potions, but no, that'd be a waste. Yeah, just use Cura Curavera. That we're getting them. Uh-oh. Ouch. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, 
Yeah, definitely use cure there. You we need it there. He's go he's almost gone now. We're doing good. That's not too bad. I think we got him. Both with curing, and you should be fine. This might just kill him right here. Yep! Got him! Very nice. And we get some decent rewards for killing him. 7,900 staring coins and a 10,000 experience. Excellent! That pushes Magus and Nisus almost to a level. Very good. And we get a drop. We get an Ultra Elixir. And a Nilek boost. No. We should be able to get through now that we have the, this orb with us. Well, I was mistaken. Apparently we do need that orb. I totally forgot. And we're all healed at max. We're all at max health as it is. Anyway, let's use that intellect boost. Magical power by three. Let's use that to... Hmm. Let's give that to Isis. Because as... when she gets stronger, to a higher level, she will learn a uh, better skill that really allows her to be very handy as an attacker. But right now... Not really apparent. And where's that ultra elixir I got? I already had them from before, but yeah. Like a bigger elixir in Final Fantasy, computer completely restore its HP and MP of all characters. Very nice. Anything down here? Yep, there is a treasure chest. Got a mega ether. Very good. Guys now are just kind of nothing compared to that dragon. But even the, those fire spells can add up, so that's why you want to get rid of the enemies pretty quickly. And they got mages in our level. Excellent! Level 18! Hooray! And they dropped an ether. Even nicer. I think we're gonna need to use that crystal shortly. Oh, because that dragon light took a lot out of me. Alright, we can save now that we got the dragon. Let's continue a bit forward through this cave. Oh! The Sephirian orb has absorbed the energy field and shattered. So apparently if you tried to go through that cave, that opening here without that orb, you couldn't get through. I just always got the orb first. Now we're in this Nethi Temple. Floor or basement one. All right, now if I remember correctly, this cave is a bit of a maze because there are teleport floor tiles. We can actually go from spot to spot. So what I want to do is try and get all the floor tiles to not only get past this area, but get all the treasures. Because you can actually go past the area and miss almost all the treasures, I think. Luckily, a lot of the enemies at this point are relatively the same as what we, we've had from before, so... Hey, 
Yeah, just like before, Mages and Sapphire are your main damage dealers. And Isis gains our level. Excellent. She's level 18 as well. And they dropped a mid potion. Very nice. Got a Z potion. I'll take it. Let's see, which way do I go? Do I go the north passage or try the big huge room down set over right here? I'll go to the big room here first. Nothing there. Yeah, let's cure up. Probably have to make this this uh, tower or cave two parts, viewers, because it is a little complicated. And I want to make sure it's not kind of overwhelming and not boring for 40 minutes of the video. Things like that. Plus, it's just long. From what I can remember. Oh, at least we went the right direction. We got a treasure chest here. Got a full ether. Yeah, that's one of those teleport pads that I mentioned earlier. Very good. Now that we're all one level up from before, our shots are... When you combine the Magus and Zeria or Magus and Sapphire attack, that should be able to get them all dead. And pretty quickly as well. So I'm going to show you what happens here. You step on the teleport pad, you get transported to another spot. And this one, unfortunate, I go right to a uh, treasure chest and I find a katana. Let's see who can use it. Not Magus, not Isis. That's Zeria's weapon. Says even right there. Foreign curved blade. Only Zeria Lee is able to wield. So increases your strength by four and your intelligence by one. Very good. Let's equip it. Head back on this teleport pad. Brings you back. I think this leads back to the beginning. Oh, we got a new enemy there. That's a Magnesite. Kind of reminds me of the, like, slimes or just goos. Well, I've seen the design before. I can't remember where, though. That's actually decent damage there, I just... For a mage. <laughs> They'll be getting levels relatively soon. They're getting close. Yeah, that's at the beginning. I'm going back. Let me know in the comments for yours if you, if, I, if you find that there's too many battles now at this point. Because if you find that there are, I can start editing them out. But I want to kind of feature some more battles because I know in previous episodes it's been kind of more story and only one or two battles per episode, so... I kind of want to show things off a bit more. Got to put another high potion I think that was there. Fire toss. Ow! Oh crap, I forgot to heal from before. Um... I royally screwed up. Oops. Oops. 
Um, crap. Well, I'm going to restore Matrix's health. I'm dead. Huh. I was defeated. Holy crap. And I, th I think I last saved at just the entrance of the place. So if I load... Yeah, I just saved at the opening of... Oh, man. I feel dumb now. That doesn't happen too often to me, viewers. Oh, man. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything I did, do everything again off screen. And I'm going to try to meet up with you where I was before I died. Be back in a moment, viewers. Alright, viewers, I'm back. Didn't really take me too long, so it wasn't really a uh, total, total screw up. And I actually ended up not using the elixir, so I got my item back, which is very good. And I was actually very close, in fact, to the next area, which is right here. This is level two, or basement two. And there's more warp points and more stronger enemies here, I would think. So yeah, I gotta kinda take it take things easy. That fire toss is quite annoying. Yeah, it takes three spells, like from Mages, Azuria, and Sapphire to get rid of the guy. Although that wasn't Sapphire's strongest spell, because she could do that one single target spell and wipe him out probably in one shot. Yeah, if, it, if it's not apparent, make sure everyone's HP is kept pretty high after every fight. Couple mid potions. Yeah, I actually ran into this guy before as well, in getting back here. Yeah, these are the Chimeras. I believe Ice doesn't really work too well against them, so don't bother using it. Uh, Zeria's attack is actually pretty good, so go ahead and do that. I'll show you this in this good, now is a good time, but you see if it works. Centering Soul. Nope, didn't work. The guy's still there. Oh well. How about Thunderous? Does that work on these guys? Not really. How about Wind? That heals them. Okay. So now we're faced with uh, get, must get rid of these guys, heal, and worry about the status effects as well. Oh, well, we gotta deal with the status effects right now. And we also must heal. That's more priority over the status effects at the moment. Well, let's try Figari again. That's even less than the Thunder. How about you just attack like regular? That's better. Good time, good time we're ready to show off the rejuvenate ability. And they're all gone. Very good. 
we got the Chimeras. Think of those guys can be quite annoying. And I've noticed as well too that your uh, spell cursor, like whenever you go to the battle menu and the game menu here, like a regular menu out to the battle, is it actually is set on the last spell. So I actually use a rejuvenate in battle. I went to go use cure, but it actually was already highlighted for rejuvenate because I just used it in battle, so I had to navigate as well. I'm not sure if that's something to be fixed, or at this point now the game's been out a couple years. But, I'm not just sure, it's kind of minor things, all things considered. Crystal. Wow, I'm going to use it. Absolutely. I'm also going to save. Now, there is the, entr the exit to the next area. Is there anything else here on this floor? before I continue on. There we go. Now that you guys are dead. Makes me feel happy. Since the crystal's right there, go ahead and use your spells. Yep, don't want to forget this, but nothing was found! There's actually an empty treasure chest! So you don't actually have to go down there. Use another crystal. Save the game again. And at this point, I think this is actually where I'm going to call the episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Chronicles of a Dark Lord, episode 1, Tides of 8 complete, we're going to go ahead and proceed through that cave door there, and go to the next floor, see what else awaits us. So with that, this has been Pilot22, saying thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any comments, please leave them in the section below, I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.